Alright, welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's see a little update coming in from the camp of Blockstars team, Blockstars players, a little bit on athletics and some other little updates we need to know on this channel. Just a day for Ghana to play against Central African Republic in Kumase, Babanyara Sports Stadium, exactly 7 p.m. And what is going on? We will talk about some camp news as Tariq Nilamte he has spoken on the Blockstars new striker, that is Brandon Thomas Michael Clark Asante. According to Tariq Lamte, he says the player is doing well and he has already settled in the Black Stars team. We will check it out in this update. A little bit on what the Ghana team as well as Central Crime Republic team will be doing today. I will talk about them in this update. Kudus Mohamed and his other colleagues also inviting all fans to be at the stadium tomorrow. We will talk about that. Then on, um, you know, Olympic Games 2024, we will speak a little about that because there is some piece of good news for Ghanaians. I will give you updates on this together with some latest updates on this channel. Also try to give shout out to all those who commented under the last video on this one. So stick and stay for that. Don't forget to like the video for me. After that, if you are new, subscribe to the channel. Put us on post notification. So the entire group latest update, you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Leave a touch and comment in the comment box. And after watching the video, share the link for others to also come here and enjoy the latest on this channel. Now, Quickly, let me begin from here. Before I start everything, today is the birthday of Black Stars head coach Otto Ado. Yes, Otto Ado, today is his birthday. So happy, happy birthday going out to you, Otto Ado. And the only thing we are asking for right now is make sure you trace the tactics right, use the right players, and let's get the results tomorrow. That is what Ghanaians are waiting for because I've said it if Black Stars will win tomorrow, we are going to top our group, and that's going to be a good one for us going forward. So, Black Stars head coach Otto Ado. Happy, happy birthday going out to you. We wish you all the best. He has also played the Black Stars team before going to the World Cup with Ghana in 2006 and has done a lot for the nation. And that is that. Now, let me begin from here. Yes, let's begin from Black Stars camp. Almost all the players are fit as of now. We don't know if there's any changes. But for what we saw yesterday and per all the latest updates, all the players are fit. And that is a good one ahead of the game tomorrow. As I said, we have about 24 hours for us to play the match. And Ghanaians, we are geared towards this particular game. We need a three points badly. Today, the team will have their official training session. But before then, they are going to have a pre-match conference at, um, you know, Babara Sports Stadium conference room. We will have Coach Otto Adam and Mohamed Kudus. They will come in and represent the Ghana team. So, Kudus, yes, if you have any question for me to ask him, you can drop it in the comment box. As well as Coach Otto Adam, if you have any question, especially concerning the game, that is where... Um, you know, the focus will be, I would have wished to add some, the, the likes of Barry Cohn and some few other players, but this one is purposely going to be for the game. So, if you have any question, I'll consider one. So, kindly drop it in the comment box. So, Otuado and Kudus will come and face the media today for some questions and answers, as well as um, some other stuff ahead of this particular game at 4.30 p.m. Now, on 5 p.m., after 30 minutes of having a pre-match conference, then 5 p.m., Ghana's team will have our final training session ahead of the game tomorrow so i'll also bring you some updates the first 15 minutes will be open to the public and the media i know that if the fans actually comes into the stadium they will not even allow them to go again or they will not actually go out again but you know first 15 minutes is open to the media and i also try and bring you some few videos coming in from the blast stars camp central african republic team will also have their pre-match conference on 6 30 pm Yes, and I'll also bring you videos from there. Then at 7 p.m., they will also have their official training session. And the first 15 minutes will also be open to the media. And that is it also in there. So this is the schedule for the um, day concerning the Black Stars and Central African Republic preparation for the World Cup qualifying game that we will play tomorrow at 7 p.m. Now, let me still stay with Black Stars and talk a little bit about them. Tariq Nilamte, yes, the right back. Who had a very good game against Mali? Yes, he has spoken um, with the Ghana Football Association press. According to him, he says that Brandon Thomas Asante he's adapting well in the Black Stars team and he's a very good finisher. And um, according to Tariq Lamte, this is what he has to say on the Black Stars new striker. 
Brandon is good in my observation. He has settled well. He seems to be enjoying himself. And I think you know he is a good finisher and he works hard for the team. So according to Tarek Lamte, yes, Brandon Thomas Asante, as we know, he's a very good finisher. He works very hard for the team. And the player is really settling in well, happy at the Blast Plus camp. And that is what um, Tarek Lamte has to say to Ghanaians concerning the new Blast Plus striker. Many are actually saying that, yes, he needs some minutes against Central African Republic, even if he's not going to start. And I can also support that idea because if you watch my training grounds, the kind of goals that um, Brandon Thomas Asante is scoring, the way he is very potent at training grounds and how focused he is. Anytime he, uh, he has the ball, his main goal, his main objective is to go and score the goal. So that is the type of striker we need right now in the team. And as many are saying, even if he doesn't start the game of which I don't think he will start, at least he should be introduced during the game for Ghanaians to also see the potential or what he has to add to the Black Stars team. And that is it on Brandon Thomas Asante and Tarek Nilamte speaking about him. Now, let me move forward and talk a little bit more about some update. Kudus Mohamed, Enes Nuama Apia, um, Kamaldi Sulemana, and Fatah Isahaku in a short video. They are actually inviting all Ghanaians to come to Bebara Sports Stadium and support the team. Yesterday, I brought you all the rates on this channel. Popular stand that is going to be behind the goalpost. The red stand and the green stand is going for 20 Ghana cities. Then we have um, the center um, center line, that is the yellow stance. It is also going for 50 Ghana cities. Then the VIP is going for 100 Ghana cities. And that is it. So you can check the previous video I made on the Blast Stars Camp News. And you will see all those details in there. So let's check out this short video of Kudus, Fatai Sahaku, Kamal Din Suleimana, and NS Mama inviting all Ghanaians to the Barra Sports Stadium. Hello, Kumasi for Ghana for on the 10th of this month. He will be a support of our Babayara Sports Stadium. Your support is very important to us. We need you guys. We are not India, though. Is that coming? Zogu support him. Come on, Ghana. Friends, so that is it coming in from Kudus and the other players inviting all Ghanaians to come to Barbara Sports Stadium and support the Black Stars team. Now, a little bit on Olympic Games and athletics, you know, and some Ghanaian athletes. Yesterday, we had. Um, some good news coming in from two athletes. One is Rose Yeboah. Yes, Rose Yeboah has now broken the high jump women's record. And it is a good one. For the national record, the girl actually leaped 1.97 meter height and snatched a ticket to the 2024 Olympic Games. Um, that is via the entry standard. Per the standard, she has met it after clearing 1.97 meter. And that is a great one. Rose has now become the first female athlete to win the NCAA D1 High Jump National Athletics um, title. And that is a good one. The NCCA is the National um, Collegiate Athletics Association. It is based in the USA. Of which they actually organize this, um, you know, intercollegiate athletics championships. So yes, per the one which is going on in USA at the moment, yesterday we had Rose Yeboah who cleared a height of 1.97 meters. And that is a good one. So she has qualified to actually participate in the next olympic games and that is an amazing feat for her you know this lady won 2019 african games gold for ghana 2023 in ghana here she also won gold and now she has qualified for the olympic games and that is a very good one for rose yabwa fantastic girl and if you look at the way she actually jumps it is amazing for you to watch anytime i'm watching rose yabwa i'm clearing some heights in there so she has qualified for the olympic games not her alone on the same day, we also have another one Ghanaian, that is Abdul Rashid Saminu. Yes, um, Saminu has also run a program record of 20.112 in the men's 200 meter dash NCCA championship final to um, finish the third um, place in the overall games. And um, Rashid Saminu has also made it to the Olympic Games, and that is an amazing one. So, yesterday we had two Ghanaian athletes who have qualified for the Olympic Games that is going to happen in Paris. So right now we have, um, I would say, four competitions, that um, three competitions, yes, I beg your pardon, that we are going to compete. First of all, we have the 4 by 100 men who qualified as Bahamas. I brought you all those updates on Oskani TV Plus and Oskani TV itself. So yes, Ghana for the 4 by 100 we qualified and we also had Rosyabwa and Rashid Saminu who has also qualified to participate in the 200 meter race in the Olympic Games. So Ghana, we are still getting some few athletes on board who will go there and participate in the next Olympic Games. And that is also some piece of good news for all of us on this channel. So these are some of the few updates 
Let me know your thoughts on the Ghana Black Stars Camp News and Athletics and some few other ones I shared with you in this update. Before then, um, or before I draw the curtain, let me say shout out going out to um, King Grace. Yes, you commented first under the last video. King Grace, I appreciate you so much. I've seen you. Um, Asunaba is also on this channel. Thank you for being here. I would do um euro yes you are also here thank you for being here that is also on this channel then i have um james ajekum you are also on this channel michael champon is also here terry jima is also on this channel ezekiel doche you are also here thank you phaser is also on this channel i've seen you too loud earpiece is here felix boatin is also here then um i have erica ayimba for thank you for being here Gideon Akagbo is also on this channel. I don't care. It's here. This time around, he cares. Um, then I have T5 Entertainment Live Band. You're also on this channel. Thank you. Mr. Body is also on this channel. Thank you. Justice. Um, okay. Justice Tete is also on this channel. Jason Grant is also here. Ima8485 is here. Samuel Wusu is also on this channel. Then I have Ahmed Tijani. Um, Sources TVGH. Barak 6365. Baba Oja Ake. Samuel Owusu. Jumo Samson, Ikis233, Kwame Edu Jinfi, watching me from the States. Chun Vincent, you're also here. Then I have Lokob, yes, Lokob is here. Joseph Kwame Intula is on this channel. Andrews, that is DJ Optimistic, you are also on this channel. Thank you. Then um, Samo Usu, okay, I think I've mentioned already. Akwabwa, you are also on this channel. Thank you. Then I have Ike, Ike um, Vlogs, yes, Ike Vlogs, also vlogging. Thank you. Samo Kwame is also on this channel. I've seen you. Uh, Michael, okay, Michael T S, um, okay, Michael T Sly, thank you. Um, yes, yes. Then let me go on. Benzos is also on this channel. Philip S Official is here. Um, the user, user your full name, and the last one here is Nathaniel Diagram. So these are all the comments I have under the last video as of the time I'm recording this one, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Don't forget to always like the video for me. Subscribe. Put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This was Kenny TV. And of course, we shall meet later.